Looking good once again out on South Potter Island. Marco and I are, are jealous yes, of we all are. the people out there right now. Yes, oh. we are. It looks enjoy good out it, there. Though. Enjoy it. It's yeah, beautiful. absolutely. This is going to be a theme as long as we stay hot and as long as the kiddos are out of school. Weekdays at noontime, people are going to be crowding the beaches. Not a bad thing there. We've got temperatures even on the island close to 90 today, but feeling a lot hotter than that. So our heat high in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere still entrenched across the southern and southwestern U.S., but the heat dome spreads even further into the southeastern U.S. and now starting to push further north back into the Rockies. There has been a weak frontal boundary that kind of squashed the heat further down towards the south, but that system is, is dissipating, and so look for the heat to take over a large part of the Midwest over the coming days again as well. And there is that frontal boundary I was telling you about. So as it dissipates, that heat will eventually push further north, but it's kind of pushed it down towards the south. So basically the Gulf Coast from Florida back to Texas seeing the heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, and that is not looking to change anytime soon. And uh, Corpus Christi, San Antonio up towards Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Waco, back over to Abilene has excessive heat warnings. While we have the heat advisory, uh, the heat uh, index feels like temperatures already at 115 in Brownsville and about close to 110 to 112 elsewhere and those numbers will continue to rise. That along with very low relative humidity is out in the upper valley. The breeze out there, good winds gusting over 30 miles an hour. We do have a high to extreme fire danger. This comes from Texas A&M Forest Service and so again outdoor burning is discouraged for today. Uh, and that's going to be over the coming days. We don't have any rain on the way. We've got the low humidity is going to be sticking around. These breezy conditions are going to be going on through at least Saturday. So look for problems out there. If you do any outdoor burning, best to hold off. And if you are going to be doing it, make sure you use all the necessary safety precautions for that. Winds out there 30 to 35 today, 100 to 100, 910 for temperatures near 90 there at the coast. And that feels like and that's going to be a problem for the next several days at least. They may come down a little bit uh, late in the weekend, early next week, as we get to a few more hopefully clouds around and a little bit of a rain chance. But until then, 110 to 114 is going to be sticking around. So expect to see another heat advisory tomorrow. And I expect another one on Friday and Saturday as well. Moderate on the air quality, UV index is extreme. That means the burn time is 10 minutes without any sunscreen. And we have just a little bit of pollen out there. Ragweed is in the moderate range. Out in the tropics, still quiet because of high pressure and the dust. The same old, same old there as well. And that dust is starting to weaken a little bit further east, but there's a good little plume that's uh, moving across the Caribbean and towards the Gulf of Mexico. But in the meantime, no new development or any development expected across the Atlantic Basin over the next seven days. There you can see some very light dust moving into the Gulf of Mexico that will make it here possibly in time for the weekend, but it's not expected to be a big deal. Be a little bit of it though. 60% chance of development with this system and look out in the Pacific now southwest of Hawaii. Dora is still going on. 160 mile per hour wind gusts. That makes it a powerful category for a hurricane. For us though, same old, same old. Seven day forecast looking at the heat, the humidity around. But once we get into early next week, we could actually bring in some isolated to widely scattered showers around. We'll <laughs> cross our fingers on that one, Marco. I mean, that's all we can do is yes, we hope can. for the best. Hope for the but best. The one thing that we keep kind of looking towards is we are getting closer and closer to the first day of fall. 44 days away, folks. It's almost like you can touch it almost. Almost. Uh, and Labor Day, 26 days away. So our next three-day weekend, less than a month away, folks.